Now, the short answer in this video is that if you're using implicit transactions in SQL Server, you really need to have read committed snapshot isolation level turned on. And now let's get into the nitty gritty details. I'm using the Stack Overflow database. On the left hand side, I'm going to start with SQL Server and its default isolation level, and I'm going to go run an update. I'm going to give one user one reputation point. I'm going to give myself a reputation point because I'm a nice guy. Now I can run this, I can even execute it multiple times in a row. And each time that I execute it, I'm not holding locks. I'm just taking a lock long enough to run my update and then I'm getting back out. Over on the right hand side, I can run a select star from users where ID equals that exact same ID. And the thing works just fine. I can just execute both of these back and forth. Neither of them block the other. They go off and do their little thing as long as they're not in some kind of transaction. But if my application over on the left hand side uses implicit transactions, if I use implicit transactions and then I run that same update, now notice that I didn't hit the commit. What I'm basically doing is just slowing down time to kind of act as if my application is going to go do some other things, maybe come back here in a second and finish his uh, uh, update. Over on the right hand side, if I go to run my select now, I can't because I'm blocked. Now that I have set turned on on the left hand side implicit transactions, I have a transaction open whether I asked for it or not. So if my application has some kind of bit of bug in the code and it goes off and does something else and it's like, oh, oh, I forgot I had a, a transaction open. I better go back and commit if tran count is anything other than zero. And then it goes back and cleans up after itself later. Whenever it goes and runs this commit later, you're going to notice that as soon as I run this commit, immediately over on the right hand side, the select is going to finish. But that poor select is in a world of hurt until my implicit transaction finishes. Implicit transactions are really just like taking a begin tran with every insert, update, and delete that you do. Now, if you can't change the application, the application developers are like, no, no, trust me, we really have to have implicit transactions. That's where there's this really cool setting at the database layer. I'm going to right click on the database and go into properties, go down into options. And down here under advanced or miscellaneous options, everything's under miscellaneous. It's like the kitchen junk drawer here. There's this option read committed snapshot isolation. This is optimistic concurrency, AKA MVCC, which is kind of like how Postgres and Oracle and Azure SQL DB and Amazon always, or, uh, always on availability groups, secondaries, all the A terms start to sound alike, uh, how they work under the covers. So I'm going to turn this on. And as soon as I turn it on, now it's going to make me when I hit OK, it's going to make me get everybody else out of the database. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these other people in the master database just to get them out of the way here for a minute. As soon as I turn this on, this is going to turn on some read write plumbing over into tempdb so that when I do this exact same set of statements again, go hop back into Stack Overflow on the left hand side, I'm still going to have a set implicit transactions on. And I'm going to do my update and I still have a transaction open, but now over on the right hand side, when I run that select, the select goes right on through because the select can get a copy of my original row as of before the update started over in tempdb out of the version store. So RCSI, just a magic setup that makes all kinds of blocking and locking setups problems disappear. It is not, it's not free of drawbacks. There are gotchas in tempdb, and I'll talk more about that over in the article. If you go to brentosr.com slash go slash RCSI, I'll talk about more of that uh, over there.